Hola amigos, bien o okay. qué? Bienvenido otra vez a este bonito día aquí en Medellín. Entonces, algo pensamientos para hoy. Uh, recuerdo que cuando tú estás practicando um, tus oraciones por algo, situación, es que tú tienes ahora una muy buena oportunidad para enfocar y pensar muy bien con el forma de parábolas que tú quieras utilizar. Um, y ese es un buen punto. Yo voy a escribir un poco más en mi blog, um, un poco más ahorita con este tema, pero si tú piensas, es para porque tú en este, este momento solo tiene un vocabulario para decir algo un poco mínimo. Tú puedes utilizar estas para reforma tu, um, tu expresión y también para buscar para conversaciones mucho más positivo en todo aspecto. Um, so now we have a good opportunity because we're now we're learning our new language and we're at that point where we're, we're just beyond good to nearly fluid. And we're trying to push into that, um, that fluidity with the new language. We have a great opportunity, a really good opportunity, to look carefully at the, the words we're using and how we can use uh, our phrases more carefully to get uh, generally, uh, generally a better and a more uh, positive outcome in all of our conversations. Um, so I've been um, thinking about this uh, recently, so I'm going to write something about this in my blog, um, I think over the next day or so, try and pull some of these ideas together. But um, that's something to think about. So when you're looking at um, how you're preparing for your dialogues, for the particular situations you've got coming up and you need to be um, practiced at, um, one, try and keep the dialogue minimal, because we want to do more listening really, and only have to speak our lines that are essential so we can say those much more clearly and they're easier for us to practice um, with fluency um, and then we're just really going to rely on the other person in the conversation providing us a lot more vocabulary that we can listen to and generally improve our understanding of the topic. But have a think about this because um, if we can use our language in a very creative way and a positive way to get much better outcomes from these conversations, hopefully, in general, our, our interactions with uh, other people now should be a bit easier. So the idea is to try and help steer these conversations to a positive outcome with generally a bit less stress for all involved. Um, so I've been thinking about this recently quite a bit, so I'm going to try, so I'm going to try and write something up on this to see if we can expand this idea. But that's my thinking point, that's my challenge for you today. So as you're preparing for your new dialogues, whatever they are, one, keep it minimal. Don't need too many sentences for the particular scenario you're gonna be speaking in. And think carefully about the phrases you're using. And let's see if we can focus this so we can always get you a positive outcome Um, o at least a stress-free conversation. Ok. So, pensa bien con todas las palabras que tú vas a utilizar en tus conversaciones futuro. Por, um, pensa que esa es una buena oportunidad para mejorar en total el forma de tus, tus conversaciones y para buscar en, en general por um, cada vez un más positivo conversación con otra gente. Listo. That's it for today. Have a great evening. See you soon. <laughs> Cheerio.